Coach Pritt's good session. Uh, Thank you. Like, you know what? I like the simplicity of the short offense. Yeah. I me think too. that people. Yeah, but it's it's easy to score. You know, you get a, you're not you know 22 years old anymore. So. Yeah. Like short old guys a little bit. A little, little, little bit. Old man yeah. tricks. No, you know it's uh, it just I learned a long time ago. Keep wrestling simple. You know, and I think as wrestling people, we try to complicate a lot of things and try to be, you know, super technical. And, and, and again, I, I guess I, I think that is super technical when you start looking at it and the little details of where you put your hands and where you put your feet and the different pressures. And, you know, and I know there's a lot of ways to do things, but I try to keep wrestling simple. I really enjoyed, you know, our conversation today. You know, I was talking about a top level guy in your team. Yep. Who I think's a guy that would be a threat to be an All American for you guys, but we're talking about a high level guy, you know, who's a. Fireball All-American, Pennsylvania State champ. Yeah. Who doesn't know why he's looking at a guy's hips. In this conversation, I thought that was interesting to me, just like getting in your mind, but you know, we tell kids to look at, you know, they, wherever they're at, they go, their, their hips got to follow, or, you know, we always right. tell them, you got to look at their hips. Yeah. A lot of people don't know why. There's a lot of wrestling people don't know why, you know? Why are they doing it? They don't know. They just do it because that's what they're told, you know? And, I mean, even today when you saw my short offense and I'm going to the hamstring, you know, and I brought him in, I said, why are we going here? You know, I wanted them to know why. You know, if a good guy's circling up, I'm still controlling them to where I can follow in on a double if I need it or a leg attack of some sort. You know, and so I, I'm, I'm a big believer in the why. You know, they got to know the why. Why are they doing things? Not because I said so. It's because right. there's a reason. You know, if you attack their ankles, they might dive roll at your ankles, and then all of a sudden you're in a foot scramble. That's right. If you attack the waist, they might grand be out. There's just a lot of cause and effect. That's right. So looking at cause and effect, you know, I, you know, we were talking. I like talking lineups. I yep. always like to, to pick, pick brains and, and and talk lineups. But my big thing is, we were talking, weigh-ins. Yeah. How crazy is it that college wrestling? If you got a guy who wrestles your full schedule. Yeah. Or South Dakota State's got a guy that wrestles their full schedule. Yeah. Whoever, Boise, name a team. Name it. They're gonna have 22 weigh-ins by Saturday if they make it to Saturday. The NCAA tournament ultimately the goal. Yep. But. How crazy is that too? That twenty-two, the, some maybe twenty-three or twenty-four, even. You know, if you look at the conference tournaments, two days. Ours is one. You know, and again, we have fifteen days because we have three two-day events. So I mean, if there's two two-day events and then an extra dual meet, maybe you get one more in there too. I think, but you know, you just I think you got to kind of watch them a little bit and see how many. Well, you got to look at your team. If your team's, you know, if you got guys cutting, if you got, you know, it. If you have a super disciplined team and they're and they're cutting, maybe maybe it's okay, you know, maybe if they it's okay, but if these guys are, are cutting a little bit and you know, you like we have a young team coming. That's what I was out. just gonna say, you guys got like We don't know if they're disciplined. We don't we don't know. You know, and there's a lot of people calling, Oh, you guys are gonna be really good and I was like, We have potential to be really good. You know, there's still a lot of there's still a lot of question marks and there's gonna be adversity and how are you know, we have a lot of good high school wrestlers that accomplished a lot of high level things and 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 have beaten some high level people on you know on the senior level and you know beating guys that have done amazing things in, in a college career you know and but how are they going to respond in a seven month season you know how are they going to respond to the grind of school with the travel and weekend and week out and and the discipline of the training and the discipline of the the nutrition and you know I, there's a question marks and it's exciting you know because there's a lot of talent there but you know I'm, I'm as excited as anyone else to see how this turns out looking at the the Valencia brothers that's the biggest question mark I want to say it, coming up next season in college wrestling yeah. these guys are lights out they've won everything that you can win you know like uh, if you're looking at Zahid you know, he's a world team member yep knocks off not Miles Martin Yep. You know, he, the guy can, he, he can, and we know he can win a national face? title. The weekend, uh, two weeks, or, yeah. Was Bo Nickel? Later. Yeah, Bo Nickel in two matches, you know. And, I, and I was saying that to you today. I'm like, we know the guy can win a national title. And it weren't, it wasn't like those matches where, well, he crotch lifted the guy or he caught him in a gut. Right. Those are like matches where he's winning, which would win in a, a folk right. style match. Take downs. And, yeah, real match, right? Yeah, leg attacks. Well, but when we look at that, there's high expectations there, yeah. obviously. But there's just so much unknown. What is that like for you guys? You... Zeke Pendleton going into the you know going into you know they're going to the world championships. Yeah. To 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 some of you got to send a guy with your guy with yeah. Zahid. Yeah. You know what's this like? What's this anticipation like building um, for you? I can't answer for them. You know I haven't really talked to them about it too much, uh, but I can say for me it's it's exciting. 
um, because I know they're great competitors, and that aspect's exciting. Um, I know there's going to be some pitfalls, you know. Do do, do I think that they're going to go through the season unscathed and just smoking people? Not necessarily, but I don't think they're not going to do that either, you know. But I'm not sitting here going, wow, you know, I'm so confident because they're such good wrestlers that they're just going to blow right through. You know, there's a lot of good wrestlers out there. In a folk-style season, as you know, seven-minute matches grinding all year. I mean, it's tough wrestling. Folk-style wrestling is tough wrestling. And sometimes the best wrestlers don't always win. Sometimes it's just the toughest wrestlers win, you know. And I like to think they're pretty tough too, but how are they going to handle – if they, how are they going to handle if they take a nick? You know, they, they, you know, somebody knocks them off that's not supposed to knock them off. How are they going to handle? Tweak their knee. Yeah. yeah. Tweak their shoulder. Anything like that. You know, it's, it's, it's a long year. What do we? We have one college wrestler in the history that's gone through undefeated, right? For, for I get well, I'll say it since you've had four years of eligibility. Yeah. You know, one undefeated, and there's a lot of people that tried it. You know, and so people take nicks. You know, people take nicks, and how do you respond, and how do you how do you come back and, and recover from that? You know, so yeah, there's question marks, but man, am I excited about our just there's a lot of guys on our team I'm excited about. You know, and they're working hard right now, and they're excited, and they they're itching to go a little bit. So, you know, and and you know what? We also have competition in the room at several weights, so I'm excited about that too. I don't know who's going to start at four or five weights, maybe even maybe even six, but. You know, it's, I don't know, you know, and it's good. It's exciting. The unknown is exciting. And there's no question oh, about it. that. I know that's something that's not unknown. Whenever you come and show up for like a camp, yeah. we're at a camp now in South Dakota, it is like top notch stuff. And the guys are, the kids are engaged the whole time. Now, like when you look at that, I, I look at there's you know, a handful of guys who can really like grab a room, run a room like you do and keep the kids engaged, have a little bit of humor here and there. But like, you know, how much longer do you see yourself going and doing camp circuits like this? Oh, I don't, I enjoy, I enjoy doing them. Uh, you know, I probably do a little more than what I enjoy, you know, a little, a few extra. But um, I like being able to work with different people and, and you know, it's gratifying. You get done and you, you spend some time with, you spend three, four days with, with some kids and next thing you know, you know, four or five years up down the road, they come on the coach. You know, that series worked really well for me and helped me win a state title. Or, you know, or, or they just come on and say, you know, I loved it. And whatever, maybe you talk to me about academics. And it changed the way I thought about academics. And that's the reason I'm going to college now. Whether it's with us or going somewhere else and NAIA, D2, D3, junior college, whatever it is, it's, you know, it's pretty gratifying when that happens. You know, and they come up and, you know, you, you don't even know you changed them. At the time, you have no idea that you did something to impact them. And you find out down the road. And it's in that part of it's really cool. Um, the relationships. You know, I've been coming to Legends of Gold for, well, this place has been here five years, but I've been working with Pac. I remember when Cody was little, I'd go do stuff with Cody. You know, and, and when he was in high school, I'd go help him out. You know, do we'd do a little clinic at his place, and I'd help out and, and try to spend some time with him. And so it's... You know, it's, it's the relationships you build around the country and with the people is incredible, you know, and then all of a sudden they become fans of your program. And so, I, I mean, it's relationships. I like the relationships of it. I think that when uh, Zeke and I talked in February, I want to say at Edinburgh Open, uh -huh. he, he said Lee Pritz is a genius. <laughs> and, and I think that, like, you're, like, an expert at reading people. I feel like that, you know, like... Is that something that makes you such a good recruiter, would you say? You know, no, you know, <laughs> well, I appreciate that, but you, you know what makes me a good recruiter is I have good people to sell. I mean, when you think about it, um, look at the places I've been. I've been at University of Missouri with Brian Smith, you know, and you look, uh, that's, not a, that's, that's not a hard sell. You know, when you go in and you tell a family what you're dealing with, that's a, you know, this is Brian Smith and this is the kind of person he is and this kind of program he runs and, you know, it's an excellent school, da da da, good. Then I go and I'm with, you know, Steve Martin at Old Dominion. And again... The most direct person, I think. <laughs> Sounds like his older brother might be a little more direct. He is, and he is. He, he's, but you know what? And I love that aspect because he's... You know, you always know where you stand with him. And and I tell you what, but that guy's got a great heart and is a great person and, and, and a workhorse. And, you know, and again, it's a great school and it's a 
another great product, easy product to sell. You know, and then I'm at North Carolina State, and, and we had Carter Jordan there, who uh, is an unbelievable man. You know, you can ask Darren Caldwell what he thinks about, you know, and some people that wrestle, and he's just an unbelievable man. And, uh, you know, and North Carolina State was, was an unbelievable school, beautiful spot. They had some great things going there, too. And now, all of a sudden, I'm, I'm at Arizona State, and, you know, and, and again, we had Sean Charles to start when I got there, and, you know, uh, he's got a great wrestling mind, and he's a great person. And then you get Zeke Jones, who is, you know, what, best technician in the world. Uh, he's got, uh, you know, unbelievable person, big heart, takes care of people, loyal, and a workhorse. And a school like Arizona State, which not a lot of people know this, but we have our Barrett's Honors College, which is the number one honors college in the country, and the standard to get in, or the standard, the average to get in is a 389 and a 28 on the AC, or 29 on the ACT. So, you know, we have some, and they're leaving there going Ivy Leagues for grad school. So we have some unbelievable standards at Arizona State as well. Knowing that you're at Arizona State and you can, you can get anyone you want. Mm -hmm. You want the Eastern Michigan. They can't get the guys that you guys can get, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, there's just schools that have ceilings. That, that That's right. Whereas you guys, don't, you know, you're, you're the only school west of the Rocky Mountains to win an NCAA title in Division One wrestling. Right. I mean, it, that speaks for itself, you know, under Bobby Douglas. But knowing you, you, you've got this, it's easy, an easy sell, like you're saying. It is. You know, it, it's, and that's, I've been fortunate enough to, again, have great relationships around the country with a lot of people. And then I didn't have to sell them a bill. You know, I, I wasn't here going, hey. I know, you know, whatever, if, if it's the program's not, not a good program, there's not good people in the program, and i got to try to sugarcoat that somehow. I don't have to do any of that. I've been around good people and that take care of kids, and they, they're, in, they're in the college athletics for the right reasons. And, again, I just think I've been in very fortunate situations, and, uh, you know, and somehow, some way, shape, or form, I got deemed that I'm pretty – pretty good at recruiting and it worked out good for me <laughs> all right well it's about dinner time you got anything else for me i don't man i just uh, i'm glad you're out here and uh you know legends of gold is is if you've seen the growth in this place in the last five years it's been amazing i've been here from year one when it was kind of beat up to you know i think they had this building here right now which is a format wrestling room for what three years now and you know, they built it. The, the, the changes this place has made over the five years is unbelievable. And, and starting to watch the kids come through, they just had some guys, and I don't even know the rules on recruiting. I guess I can't say their names right now. But they've had some guys that have, that have grown up in this program that are out in Fargo right now, double All-American, you know, becoming double All-Americans. And I think they now had 10, 10 double All-Americans here or something. That's pretty good. That's really good. I mean, in Beardsford, South or South, yeah, Dakota, South yeah. Dakota, with with what two thousand people in the town? Yeah, I don't know. If there's enough people that are just there to fight, but there's not. <laughs> there's not. <laughs> but it's 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 amazing. So what Terry Pack has done here is, and and I just I'm proud to be part of it from the start.